Hello family and friends. Welcome to my channel, Meandering Man at 70. Sorry about the background noise. Uh, some of it is a fan from my computer. It needs to be worked on a little bit. And uh, also sorry about it being so long. It uh, covers two days and three events. So the first one is the, is the day at the beach with my family. The second one is San Moritz Lodge and some of the stuff I had back in my day. And the last one is Lake Arrowhead, uh, another part of my history. Here you go, enjoy. Whoa, look at it come. about the ocean and waves. Get wet? Did you get wet? Yeah, only a little bit. There he goes again. He's gonna go take it on. Whoa, let's run! <laughs> Is it coming to get you? It's coming to get you, huh? Tell those waves what for. Runaway boy, runaway boy, runaway boy. Runaway boy. Get that wave, Andrew. Go get it. Okay, we're here. Rose and Pete and I. Whoop. Rose, Pete, and I. I think you can see Rose are here 
at a check mark of one of my bucket lists. This is a bucket list check mark. Made it. Took about an hour and 50 minutes to get here from Morongo Casino, close to Desert Hot Springs. So let's find out what here is. Let's see what that is. There we go. There. How about that for a logo? One of my beautiful logos. We still have snow on the ground. So, yeah, you guessed it. We're somewhere up in the mountains. But what kind of mountains is it? Pretty dirty snow. So I would say... Winter season is almost over with, which is true. There's a road. Huge parking lot. Which means it's some kind of a venue. Did you see it? Did you see it? There's Mr. White in his top hat. Let's take a look at what you might have seen. There it is. Club San Moritz Lodge. Back in the day, in my first chapter of my book from what I call it one of these days I'll tell you all about my book but first chapter of my book is from zero to about 20 years old this portion of my life I think and I'm only guessing because I don't quite remember everything but somewhere around seven years old to 10 or 11 years old, mom and dad brought Tom and I up here. Grandma and Grandpa Betts either rented a cabin, if I remember right. I've asked dad a few times, but I can't remember what, what he said exactly. That's part of my memory of 70 years plus. But um, part of my first memories of in the mountain, there's a beautiful lake out there. And uh, he said that we were at San Moritz Lodge and Grandma and Grandpa Betts rented a cabin and we all stayed in the cabin for, I think, a week. And there's a beautiful lodge. Well, because of COVID-19, it appears that it's all closed down right now. It's in San Bernardino County. And anyway, what has significance for me is uh, while we were in the cabin, I was able to go outside and walk around early in the morning. And I remember the sun poking through the trees and there was a beautiful sun rays coming through the trees down uh, all over the area going through uh, smoke which was generated from the from the fireplaces in all the cabins and at that time that was one of my first recollections of Wow, what a beautiful sight. So this is some serious lodge. Not sure if you can see anything through those windows. Let's get up here close to it. Maybe you can see inside. Yep, 
big big lodge house opened area they probably do a lot of uh, dancing or clubhouse stuff in there and that obviously back when I was seven somewhere around seven to thirteen years old something like that I can't remember everything except for just some of the first recollections of how beautiful it is, it is up in the mountains, the high mountains with pine trees. And I've always thought one day I'm going to go back there and take a look at it all. And today's the day that I'm going to be able to check it all out. It's living up to its memory of a big, beautiful lodge. I have no idea what else we did up there in the cabin except having a good time. I just remember a lot of good time. I don't remember the drive up here or the drive back. And coming up here today, from Desert Hot Springs. It was a two hour ride, which was pretty long. And we came from Pico Rivera, which is in the LA area. So it was more like probably a seven or eight hour drive back in the, what is it? Uh, 59, 58, 59 to somewhere in the early 60s. And unfortunately, I can't pin down the exact year or date because I just don't remember. That doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is I found this area that was one of my first memories of being up in the high country mountains with pine trees. Pine trees like those up there. Can you imagine the sun coming through those trees with smoke highlighting the sun rays and making it just beautiful. But nowadays, people would say, That is bad news with all those smoke trails coming from fireplaces and cabins. That's how you used to heat, heat the cabin. That's how you kept warm. So haven't we ever come a long ways, baby? Anyway, I'm gonna get some more video of the area and show you what's what's around here I don't know what I'm gonna find but we'll be looking we still have a lot of the lights on out here so maybe I just might be early or something Maybe the place is opened. Well, there's what we would call a big fireplace. Okay, just finished talking to four really great people about this area, and they live in the area. They're in the senior senior areas like I am, but they've uh, told me quite a bit about this area. And this happens to be the senior center, and I told them I probably qualify because I'm 71 years old now. So, but it's closed; they're not open. So, 
Anyway, it looks like a nice facility. That I won't get to look inside. There's the lake. In the winter time, you can you can uh, ice skate on it. Is what they're telling me. Over to the left. Oh, way over to the left. I haven't made it that far yet. Just above the cars and to the right of the tree line there, or the trees, is the San Moritz Lodge, which I was just showing you guys. There's Mr. White. And the lake is open for fishing. One thing about it all is I don't fish. So. Well, even the ducks are enjoying today. Bobbing around in the water in the shade of the trees. headed over to Lake Arrowhead from San Moritz and I was looking at this valley here and I really don't know what valley it is I want to guess that it's uh, San Bernardino but I don't know maybe I could do some investigation on that and find out I don't know the mountain ranges around here, but we are sure up high and it's looking pretty. I'm on California 18 right now. I turn around and I see San Bernardino sign in front of here. So that's got to be San Bernardino. It came from Lake Gregory, which is in Twin Peaks which is uh, uh, San Moritz. And Lake Gregory. Some restaurants and stuff up here. And that would be San Bernardino. down at San Bernardino over to the left that mountain with a bunch of snow on it I'm thinking that's the mountain that's uh, east of Desert Hot Springs so on the other side of that mountain in between that mountain range is over on the right the one on the right I think is where they have that uh, I hope there's not too much wind going in the speaker here, but you can barely see it. That other mountain straight ahead is that one that has that uh, cable line to it. So, I'm just on the other side of the mountain that's uh, east of Desert Hot Springs. And then, coming around here, looking up,
Okay, so back in the day, in chapter one of my life, chapter one, remember, is from zero to about 20 years old. And after that, I went into chapter two. One of these days, I'll give you a book report. But in chapter one, Dad and I were in Boy Scouts in Troop 331. And we'd go up to Lake Arrowhead in a scouting and camp over, over a weekend. And I just made it up to Lake Arrowhead. And here is Lake Arrowhead. And it does not look like anything like what I'm familiar with. And it doesn't look like a campground at all. LOL. Let's walk around a little bit and see if we can see maybe the lake. I know it's not going to bring back memories because that was back when I was early teens, all the way up till when I was 16, 15, 16, from I think 12. 12 or 13 and uh, in 1965 we moved to a little city called Fresno California moved from Pico Rivera so That's a little backstory of me. And I think the lake is over here. I do remember boat docks when we were in Scouts, but I bet you these aren't the boat docks that we remember, that I remember. But this is Lake Arrowhead. And if I were one of those that had a good memory, I could probably remember Camp Arrowhead, except in Boy Scouts, we were probably off in one of those shores, distant shores, that we were not around general public. I don't remember any kind of a cruise ship. I bet you that little ship there cruises around the lake, gives some boat tours. Don't remember any of that. That was back in the 60s. 60s to 1960 to 65. This is worth maybe taking a day or two and explore. That looks like a group of people that might be getting ready to go out on a boat. housing all the way around the lake. There was a scouting campground out here. I'd be tempted to say it's not out here anymore.
Yeah. What do you hear? What do we have here? I guess this area has been around a while. Yeah, some dinosaurs out here. found a statue with a flag and I can't read the sign there but maybe when I get it on video I can look at it closer and see what it says Jeremiah McKay it's about all I can read right now okay I can tell this is a happening place in its day and it's been shut down because of COVID. <clears throat> this is a place that you can stand on. The answer to whatever you want. Two. Center stage. It appears that this will open up. And I imagine yeah. bands or plays or anything they want to do out here. You know, entertain they're people, people that are here for the day. Entertainment center, center stage.